Hi there and welcome to SolidSanity.com. I am Rebecca and this is the first in a series regarding multi-body parts in SolidWorks. So today what we're going to be covering is what exactly is a multi-body part, what are some of the special functions that are available when working with multi-body part, and some of the specialized features that we see with multi-body design. So the first thing that we're going to do is just talk about exactly what is a multi-body part. So I'll just start with a very simple feature. I'll make a little rectangle here and add some dimensions. This is something that I'm sure we're all used to doing on a daily basis. And we'll go ahead and extrude that a quarter inch. So after we have an initial feature, we add additional features to actually develop the part that we're working on. And go ahead and add an additional feature at the bottom here. And probably the behavior that we're used to seeing is when we add additional features, we are left with a single solid body. Generally, when we're designing parts in SolidWorks, we're looking to create one continuous part, in this case, if I'm designing a part, and um, we merge the features together to accomplish that. Now, when creating a multi-body part, there are several ways to generate a multi-body part. One of the easiest is to actually prevent features from being merged together. So we'll go ahead and get this centered here. So the default in SolidWorks is that these two features become merged. I have one single body, but by adjusting this one option, clearing the merge result, um, it'll actually keep these as two separate solid bodies within the same part file. So besides just the obvious visual feedback that I see here where I have some interferences between these two features, um, I'm also given an additional folder in my feature manager tree where I can see that I now have two solid bodies in the part indicated by the number in parentheses here and this folder can be expanded where I can actually access each one of the individual bodies. So I can use the bodies within this folder to control um, their hide show properties. You can hide and show from here. Bodies can also be isolated just like um, components within an assembly very handy command. You could do this from the graphics area as well, hide, show, 